Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on The Flash Season 7. Today we're going to be talking about a lot of stuff. There is a lot to go through. I have a lot of notes in regards to The Flash and when its final season is going to happen, how many episodes that are going to be, and also we've got to talk about the Justice League and what happened in Crisis on Infinite Earths in regards to them all teaming up and forming the Hall of Justice and the table and everything and what is going on with all of these shows ending. So, if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Alright, so yeah, got a lot to go through in today's video. Hopefully by now you've checked out the video that came out earlier today. It was in regards to the Snyder Cut of Justice League. And there's a lot of interesting stuff and I referenced the Green Lantern HBO Max show, which we will be covering on this channel when it comes out, because it's created by Greg Berlanti and Mark Guggenheim is working on it, so it is Arrowverse related, it is probably a part of the Arrowverse. So please be sure to go check out that video before you watch this one and let's continue. Alright, so the first thing I want to talk about was The Flash and its final season, and I know lots of people have been talking about this, I've talked about it multiple times, but I don't think it gets said enough about, you know, the final season, and I haven't heard much about this specific point that I'm going to bring up, and I'm going to compare it to Arrow, Supergirl, and Black Lightning. Arrow's obviously ended already, you have Supergirl and Black Lightning set to end this year or whenever their episodes come out. Well, Black Lightning definitely this year, Supergirl may run until next year, but they will have their final season in this respective season, nevertheless. And so this is about the episode count and what is going on with The Flash, because I don't think The Flash is going to end anytime soon, because Grant has said they want to go on for at least up to season 9 and beyond, like that's just a number that he threw out there, it's not even the definitive number, so it can go on for supernatural numbers, I think he said he would like to do that. So from that, that would suggest he's got at least a few years still in him or potentially even more than that. So. We'll have to wait and see, but in comparison to what is happening with these other shows, Arrow ended in Season 8, and it had 10 episodes. And then Supergirl will end in Season 6 this year with 20 episodes. And Black Lightning will end this year with Season 4 with 13 episodes. And so if we compare it to their past episode count, what is going on? So Arrow obviously is an exception due to the fact that it only had 10 episodes when Arrow normally would run on for about 20 to 23 episodes every season, and that was a set thing, and that kind of established the episode count for The Flash, because Arrow did too, so that was the reason, but season 8 was only 10 episodes because they wanted to have Arrow in crisis, but then also end the season alongside that. Okay, so Supergirl is having 20 episodes for a sign of season. This was to be expected as Supergirl has always had a higher episode count similar to The Flash and Arrow. And it's kind of a little bit of a surprise considering the pandemic and everything. Like we thought they were going to cut episodes down. But 20 episodes is very impressive and I'm glad they're going for that. Finally, we have Black Lightning which is ending with season 4. And this season will have 13 episodes. Again, not very surprising considering that the episode counts for Black Lightning has been very, very similar. Season 1 ended on 13 episodes as well, but Season 2 ended with 16 episodes, and Season 3 ended with 16 too, so again, it's just dropped down to its Season 1 episode count. So not that surprising that they dropped a few episodes due to restrictions, and they can definitely add back onto that, but... Again, pretty similar to the normal numbers. So what will The Flash have when it eventually ends? And I'm not saying it's going to end anytime soon, but when it does end, what's going to happen? Is it going to be similar to any of those shows? So for now, there's no way that the CW is going to end the show by themselves. They're not going to cancel it or anything. The way it will end is when Grant wants to move on, and that's essentially what happened with Steven. That's what happened with Melissa. I'm not so sure about Black Lightning, I think it's a different thing with them, because CW desperately want The Flash, it's the highest rated show and it makes them the most money on the whole network, and it doesn't seem like Grant is going anywhere, and so the episode count will most likely be not like Black Lightning's as they've always had shorter seasons and The Flash has always had an episode count around 20ish, normally about 23. Obviously last season was cut short so they had 19, but most of the time they have a lot more episodes because there was 3 episodes cut out of last season. And so it's more likely to be more like how Supergirl is ending 
as their episode counts are always roughly the same. Those two shows are the closest to each other than any other show in the network, and also in terms of content, but also in terms of episode count, they always pretty much stick to a similar count. Even this season, The Flash is going to have nearly as much as Supergirl. And so, yeah, probably more so like Supergirl. And then you have the Arrow situation, like I mentioned, it's different. But if The Flash, say, wants to do a whole season 8 and season 9, but then they want to go to season 10, but they don't want to do like a full 20 plus episode season, what they can do is they can do an Arrow and end with a shorter season, but have it end in season 10 rather than any time after or before. I think that is a possibility. I really think that The Flash is going to reach season 10, nevertheless. And I'm not saying that I want a short season for The Flash's final season because that's not true. I want a long season. I want them to do what Supergirl was doing, ending with 20 episodes, because then you get the most amount of Flash in one season for your final season. So I think it's good if you have your normal episode count rather than cutting it short like Arrow. I don't think that was the best idea, but you know, it was pretty good, their final season. However, I digress. So that's it for that part of the video. Hopefully you enjoyed that bit. Now let's move on to the Justice League situation in the Arrowverse. What is going on here? So loads of people have been making these cool graphic design pieces of the Arrowverse and what we had in Crisis on Infinite Earths because they set up the Justice League in that, and they had the Hall of Justice, they had the table, they had the chairs with the logos on, and people have been making these comparisons to, you know, what's happening right now, considering that Supergirl announced its ending, Black Lightning announced its ending, you have Arrow, who's obviously gone, but he wasn't there in the first place, so that's a different thing. However, let's break this down. So who is those members of the Justice League that we saw in Crisis on Infinite Earths? So, you have Supergirl, you have Martian Manhunter, Black Lightning, Arrow, Batwoman, The Flash, White Canary, and Superman. Those are the Justice League members that we saw in Crisis at the table. They sat down, they had their own emblems on the chairs, they had the Hall of Justice. And so, what are we left with? We have Supergirl, who is going. We have Martian Manhunter, who is presumably going, although he is not the main star of the show, but he is a member of Supergirl. So we can presume he is going unless he joins another show, but for now we're going to presume that. And then you have Black Lightning who is going, Arrow obviously wasn't included but he's already gone, and you have Batwoman who is gone because Ruby Rose left the show, but remember Javisa Leslie can replace that so that's not such a big deal I don't think. And so what are we left with? We are left with three members, minus Javisa, so maybe it's four, but if we're looking at Crisis, we don't have that original version of Batwoman around, so it's going to be a new version, so technically it's a new character, so technically we have lost Batwoman, and yes, she can replace it because she has the same emblem, you know, even if they make a tiny change to it. She is still Batwoman after all. So who are these three members left? So you have the Flash, you have White Canary, and you have Superman. So Superman would have been removed if Supergirl was ending, and there wasn't a Superman Lois show, but now there's a Superman Lois show, He's going to still be crossing over, he's going to be a big part of the Arrowverse, so Superman is still there, White Canary is still there whilst Legends is around, and I presume Legends is going to last at least one to two seasons more it seems like, and The Flash is going to stick around because he is essentially the leader of the Arrowverse post-Oliver. Maybe we should call it The Flashverse. That sounds cool, I really like it, but then that is dissing Oliver because Arrow did start it all. So with only three members left, plus the new Batwoman, will we see a proper Justice League type crossover? Yes, of course we're going to see a Justice League type crossover. I don't know why people are questioning that, because that is basically what we get every year, and we have new shows being introduced, Painkiller, I don't know if he's going to cross over, probably instead of Black Lightning and whoever else, joins the show, maybe some of Black Lightning's daughters are going to show up on Painkiller, so maybe they're part of the new Justice League. Also, you have the Wonder Girl show that is happening. We don't know what's happening with Green Arrow and the Canaries, but if that comes to fruition at one point, you have those characters. There's going to be plenty of people to replace these other characters. These are just some of the original members who are going to be gone. And so there will be a Justice League type crossover, of course. And I don't know if they're going to continue with the Hall of Justice idea, maybe they do a Watchtower idea instead with the new heroes, kind of like a Young Justice, once, you know, the Flash is out, once 
White Canary is out, and I don't know about Superman, Superman can be involved because I don't think Superman and Lois is going anywhere for a long time because they're just starting, and I think that's got some legs, it seems like. And you'll have, you know, the new version of Batwoman, but then you only have, like, one remaining member, which would be Superman, if, say, the Flash and Legends go away, and that would just leave them, and then you can have a Young Justice-type crossover. I reckon maybe they, you know, name it something like that at one point, if we get to that point, say, five years down the line, right? Maybe there's no Flash, there's no Legends, and you've only got Batwoman, Superman, Wonder Girl, Painkiller, and whatever else shows comes along, and if they cross over with HBO Max or not with the Green Lantern show, I don't know. But yeah. So what do you guys think about all of this? What do you think about the episode count for the Flash's final season? Is it going to be like Arrow, Supergirl, or Black Lightning whenever the time comes? And also, what do you think about the Justice League situation in the Arrowverse? So thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.